Okay, so now the bigger, I, a lot of people would say that the bigger discussion here isn't between MSNBC or Fox, that this might be a moot point anyway, because less and less people are getting their uh, news uh, through the traditional uh, uh, ways, right? They're getting it through online, they're getting it on their computer, their phones. We're going to get watches now pretty soon. Right. So um, let me ask you, Ed, uh, where, now I get most of my news is, uh, is written on an electrical box on a pole over here in Culver City. I go by there at noon, I just take a look at whatever <laughs> he wrote. That's a terrible way to thing. get it. And uh, how, do you, now how do you get most of your news, Ed? Because uh, you're a pretty savvy guy. Well, I don't know about that, but uh, I'm my own grandfather. That's, I don't want to say I'm out of the demo, but I'm my own grandfather. So, so now uh, I get most of the news online. I would say I go to the Huffington Post. I try to ba bypass the front page. Yes. Because apparently it's turned into the National Enquirer. Oh, my I God. used to go to The Onion. Have you looked at The Onion recently? No. It's filthy. It's just filthy, filthy, filthy. It's not, another corporation the, took it over. That's the website, The Onion? The Onion. The Onion. The corporation no, take over The Onion? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no oh, kidding. Yeah. You can't go there anymore. Oh, no, no it's, it's, kidding. It's filthy, well, filthy, filthy. When I go filthy. to The Huffington Post. Huffington Post. I go to The Huffington Post for news and side boob. What do you go there for? <laughs> I go for side boob and news. Okay. Fantastic. But can I ask you one quick question? No. I'm going for well, divorce. Well, then go to Desi. Yes, you can ask whatever you want, Ed. Why doesn't the Tea Party have actual tea? <laughs> and would the flavors be Constant Comment, Red Zinger, and Plantation Mint? That's all I have, folks. That's why yeah, I'm no, here today. Fantastic. I came for that. I'm loaded. No, what, what, do you, do you, uh, do, Desi, what do you think the future of, how are people going to get their news in the future? Oh, I think it's going to continue to migrate online, digitally, you no know, with doubt, the, right? the internet and everything. I think that the delivery is going to continue to migrate to the internet. I will but, say that, John. But the, uh, the issue that we have with this is the pay model, the business model, you know, with this oh, great shaking money, up right? of, well, yeah, with the great shaking up of the media Amazon. landscape. Amazon. Will Fox. journalists be able to make a living when we have a race to the bottom, much uh, like we've had the same race no. to the bottom with manufacturing. Good. I hope that uh, most of the people who consider themselves journalists, sorry fellas, uh, I hope that they go with the way of the ice, the guy who delivered ice to my grandparents, right? Uh, look, wh what's ultimately going to happen is we're going to get more and more things like with John King where he goes, I told them one thing and a half hour later, oh, it's something else, right? We're going to get an increasing amount because everybody wants it immediately, immediately, immediately. Journalists who are actually digging for actual facts and information are being pressured by their bosses to move it along, move it along, get us some information immediately. What we're going to end up with is a lot more wrong information. And one thing that reporters and news organizations have been historically good at is watching the thing unfold and bringing us not just the information, but even some analysis so that we have a sense to how does this thing really affect us, right? Uh, to be bombarded with information and then discover that it's wrong, right, is, I gotta say, is quite frankly a terrible thing. And hopefully what this will encourage is regular people should be able to just go out and start investigating, asking questions, and don't just yeah. be passive people who sit by and listen right. to the people who are on TV like shouting at you, but go and you want to know something about guns? Go out and fire some guns. You That's want to know right. something about uh, are, are Latinos lazy or hardworking? Go out. And if you go to any Home Depot uh, across America, you will find uh, dozens and dozens of Latin American men who are looking to work every single day of the week, tw almost 24 hours a day, right? And you can find that out and go, oh, you know what? That notion that I had that they were lazy and they were yes. coming to steal from us we'll out, is yeah. totally unreasonable. I mean, if you want to find out if the black it, kids in hoodies are criminals, you can go out and follow them. Exactly. So <laughs> I thought George Zimmerman was the guy from the men's warehouse. <laughs> I didn't even understand who he was. But no, I guarantee but, it. <laughs> yeah, he probably said that, too, at the time. But he, here's the thing. I mean, this, to me, it's giving inst into instant gratification. This is a, like a societal thing. You've got to get it fast, and you have to get the news now, and you don't have time, and everything's got to be there. Wait. Yeah. Have a four-day waiting period on news. Did you hurry this point up? I wish mm. well, I think that's No, but I mean, seriously, <laughs> if you let the wave go, yes. then you will find things out. But you cannot get it instantly, and you cannot get it first. That Actually, horse has already left the barn. By the way, I'm this sorry is what happens say. when you want it instantly. You end up with this. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, right oh, when you want instant news, you end up that. with my great -grand? Geraldo in, without his shirt. Oh, that that's going to look. Boy, that looks terrible. Is that not weekend oh, at Bernie's? Oh, it was so close. Oh, there we go. There Come you go. On. Right. That is what that's happens. That's a man who opens Al Capone's wall. Right. That is <laughs> yes. what happens when you want. Right. By the way, if Wolf Blitzer does this, that is something you really cannot forget that that's you've seen. No one wants. And nobody wants that. Geraldo went on to call Edward Snowden a media whore. 
But I want to just add one more thing. I, yes. I happen to really deeply disagree with you on the idea Thank that God you can we just have, have a disagreement that, that you cannot Finally. have people just. I mean, you can have people just go out and and try to investigate for themselves. I I highly encourage that. You know, don't take anybody's word for it. Go look for yourself. Yes. But there are issues that come along with the loss of the institutional memory of. Journalists who have both experience and a memory of what happened before who can provide context. Yes, you know, if you have part, people reporting, yeah, well, that's, you know, what you don't get when you don't have people who can make a living focusing on the kinds of specialties and uh, areas that we have to have in order to understand the context and the history of what's happening know, now. These things didn't just people? happen this morning. But, but you know,